Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am working today with some of Medieval Mirage's uh, papers. I just got some and wanted to play with them. Um, she's got loads of really nice kits, and I don't think they have to just be like thought of as medieval because they're just really pretty images. Um, this one is Eclectic Essence, and it's volume one and two. I'm using mostly volume two, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the one, yeah. So, um, they're just really pretty, like, bulbs, bulb flowers, tulips, and um, things like that. So I was just going to have a little play with those. I've been wanting to play with some for a while. And um, my son's being weird. <laughs> Sorry, he made me laugh. Um, I printed some on transparencies. I got this transparency paper before we went on vacation, but uh, I just haven't had time to play with it, so I decided I'm going to play with it today, and I got the Medieval Mirage yesterday and was just like, I just want to play, so that's what I'm doing. So it may not be anything, you know, drastically new or anything, but um, that's what I'm doing. So if you want to hang out and craft along with me, then that would be awesome. So um, I am using one of the sheets and it had it kind of inspired me to make this when I was looking at these yesterday because it has this airmail uh, envelope and I have some airmail envelopes and I never know what to do with them and so I mean I can stick them in journals just like they are and everything but you know it's fun to do something different with them so um, that's what I wanted to do so I took a piece of book page and I cut it at, let me see I think this envelope is five by seven so that's kind of what I was going for is the that five by seven it's a little bit smaller than five and a little bit smaller than seven so it's close just it's just based on the size of your envelope really is all because I'm going to hook them together like we do and you know we've all seen this but um, I'm just gonna hook it together like this and do something on the front of this and it'll flip open and yeah so anyways um, but I liked that airmail image. So I cut a square in the middle, and you can cut it any size. It doesn't really matter. I just left about a half an inch on the sides and a little bit more on the bottom than the top. But you can cut it, or you could cut a circle, or you could do all kinds of things. You don't have to do it exactly like this. So the measurements really aren't that important because um, it's just whatever size. But this is a half an inch on either side. I wouldn't go really any smaller than that because I am going to do some stitching around here and I don't want, um, you know, I wouldn't want it to be a weird size. Sorry, I was waving to my daughter. <laughs> Everybody's running in and out today, so. Okay, um, so what I was going to do is take some of this lovely transparency paper that I got and wanted to have a play with and I'm going to cover the hole in the paper. So I already took this book page and glued a piece of her paper on there because I didn't want you guys to have to watch me fiddle around with, you know, cutting both holes and all that jazz. So I just have to kind of figure out what image I want in there. I think I like the butterfly and these tulips. So that's what I think I'm going to go with. Even though I'm kind of going right down the middle of the paper, um, I just like that. And I'll use the other pieces other places. So I was working on a new digital kit last night and... Um, I was playing with some transparency paper and it is lots of fun to play with. So, if you haven't got any, and it's just regular transparency paper and I bought it off of Amazon. I'm just cutting this down. That's all I'm doing right now. Um, I got it off of Amazon. And. And I know uh, Nick the Booksmith has recently done a really cool video where she sprayed um, all different types of paper using like clear, um, what do you call it, spray paint type stuff. And so I know that probably most people have seen that and that's really cool. If you haven't watched it, I would definitely go have a look at that because she sprays it on both sides of different kinds of paper and it makes it like glassine so that's really cool yeah so that'll work there and then I need to cut the top portion off and then um, she also did a like an envelope thing that she has a template for um, on her Etsy channel and stuff recently so she's I think everybody's kind of in this mode of transparency paper or something I 
just something different and fun and all right so that's gonna work so I'm just gonna take kind of like I did with that um, scrapbook page that I sent to Rosa, Rosa Kelly where I did the circle in the middle I'm gonna do basically the same exact exact thing thing oh my goodness I cannot talk I used actual glassine bag to make that one and um, that worked really well the biggest thing is I don't like to go straight up to the edge because I don't want my glue coming through the transparency paper or getting on the transparency paper if I can help it I mean it will wipe off but speaking of that I should probably have my wipes near but it's just nice not to get it on there in the first place and then you don't have to worry about that I went a little wide it looks like but we'll we'll get the edges and that's the part that matters so I want that uh, tulip there. I didn't do too awful, a little wide on this side over here, but it'll work. Just gonna seal it right in there. And I am, um, well, I'm not gonna stitch this close, so can't rely on that. And another big tip is to kind of, if you run the glue away from the opening, that helps too. So if you push it out away instead of in towards that will give you a better result as well oops and then i went and touched up there <laughs> okay and it, it's good to have it kind of taut so you don't want it too loose just gonna make sure this one's staying down i think it's gonna just want to make sure you get it nice and smooth So that's going to be pretty and um, I had to tape my um, transparency paper to regular copy paper so that it would go through my printer but I know it all depends on your printer so that again is gonna be like a you know you're just gonna have to try it basically I do want to cover this because this book I'm not sure if this is one that had bad words or not but anyway I just don't want any problems <laughs> with that so kind of want to go for a sort of a light ish one back there oh, this one would actually be pretty but I wonder if that's too much if I had it back behind be good to get some of the script in there let's see oh you know what else I have is actual script that might be better Yeah, I like that better. So that's what I'm going to do. I used these in my new Fiji, and I'll be showing that tomorrow or the next day, just depending on when I can do a video. We're kind of getting to that crazy time of the year. We're got, we've got fair coming up, and then we'll have band camp. And once that hits, the chaos begins. So, and that week of band camp, I'll be doing lunches and stuff for the kids so I may not be around a ton during that time I'll try to do fairly regular videos but sorry it, you know probably be easier if I just measured stuff but <laughs> I don't do that very often so I prefer not to It used to be better about that, but I get tired of measuring. Okay, so I think that's going to be fine because we're going to have the edges glued and all that, so it's really not going to make any difference there. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to ink because I won't need it. So I'm going to put glue on this, and I probably will ink around the edge of the paper, the whole paper, but I'm not going to worry about this one that I'm gluing down. So I'm going to hit my... Uh, son, not my husband, is working on the digital download right now. Getting the Photoshop portion of it done. And we did figure out, we found some old labels and things and figured out how to do those. So there's a couple in the video, but I'm probably going to, or a video, in the digital kit, but I'm going to do an add-on, I think, as well with, um, 
a bunch of those because they're a little bit different than other ones I've seen around. So now I'll do a little inking around the edge just so that when it's when you see the side, you, know, you won't see the white. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Welcome to any new subscribers. Thank you for um, liking my channel enough to subscribe. I appreciate it. And thank you so much to all my very loyal subscribers. You guys are amazing. Very supportive. I love your comments. So yeah, and also if you know you would like labels, like different styles, um, put that in the comments because it's good to know whether you guys would even be interested or not interested because what's the point, right? If you're not interested. I'm going to ink around this a little bit too. I should have inked around the inside that I've got. It's all right. Yeah, these papers are just beautiful. So if you haven't checked out um, Medieval Mirage, I would have a little look because she just has some really beautiful papers, especially if you're doing collaging and stuff because they're... They would also make great, which is why I bought them, because I'm going to be doing a, a new journal. And so I bought them to use as actual pages in that new journal with, uh, one of, with my new digi kit. So if I remember at the end of this, I will give you a little sneak peek of what I've got going. Hopefully you guys will like it. It was a fun one to make. Okay, so that will go on there and I'm going to stitch it so um, I'm not going to worry about gluing it right this minute. I'm just going to set it over here. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I'm going to do just a touch of glue, just because I don't want it to move while I'm stitching. I'm just lightly using the glue stick to do the very, very edge. Let's see, it's already squiggling around on me. Oh, come on, you silly thing. Okay, so that can sit there and dry, and that way it'll make stitching it easier. And then we want to do something on the front, but I'm going to kind of try to leave that, because, you know, that's what I was, that was the inspiration part. So I've just got all kinds of things. Part of these are to do cards to go inside of stuff. But I have lots of things, um, have some lace, I want to use a piece of this paper, I kind of want to use one of the big, bigger size tulips, I don't know if these are too big, I might need that one, that one, or this one, this one might be too big, just super pretty paper that she has, and I know a lot of you may have seen it on, um, uh, Roxy Creations channel, but um, I don't know if she has this one or not. So I'm just going to tear. I just, I really want this um, tulip here. And Joff, um, it's J A R F, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She has. She's just a super nice lady. Always um, comments, you know, back, you know, if you order something. She's just very, very nice. So definitely worth checking out. Lovely lady. Very talented. I mean, that's just beautiful. 
So let's see what else have we got. Kind of just want to do parts and pieces, you know. We are having the craziest weather here this summer. It um, it seems like it's either been cold or it's broiling hot. Like I don't know. It doesn't. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. But today it's super hot. Yesterday it was super hot. The day before it was like raining and cool. It was just it's just been crazy. Usually in July, I mean I shouldn't complain, which I'm really not complaining. But usually in July it's just hot. It's just ugh, hot. So, I mean, it's been kind of great having the cool, but which is weird. I guess I'm not going to get a whole lot of that airmail thing. So, you go buy these papers and then you tear them all into little tiny shreds. <laughs> Seems smart. <laughs> Seems like a great idea. Uh, maybe if I move it up. up here more over to the side. It's really hard with that the way it is. I guess I don't need airmail and airmail. It's kind of redundant. So let's use a different part so I'm not so hooked on that ridiculousness. Um, could do some lace under that. this edge, the natural like edge of the lace. So I'm going to cut off this other side and I'll use that strip somewhere along the line. These things are old and heavy, hard for me to work <laughs> with my silly hands. Something like that, I think. And then I have these cute pictures of these little girls. They're so adorable. I think I just, I don't need all of it. So I think I'm going to tear it about here. I just want her pretty little face. And then I'm going to go around the edge and kind of beat it up a bit. So yeah, I just kind of finished that um, sewing journal and then been working on that digital and just kind of wanted to play a little today. So I just need a break from the projects. And I really wanted to just play with this, so thanks for joining me, those of you that stayed. <laughs> yeah, that thing that Nick the booksmith did with making glassine and she just did all different papers. I mean, go watch it if you haven't because it was um, just super neat to see how all those papers came out. The only thing I was wondering is if they get... Um, if the paper gets kind of stinky, because you know, even uh, Rachel at Roxy Creation, she did it, and she was saying how um, she kind of fumigated herself, and so I'm wondering if the papers hold any of that smell, or if it just, you know, kind of dissipates. It'd be interesting to see.
We may not finish this today. I don't want to hold you guys too long, but just kind of a fun idea. And I have all these um, pieces of ephemera from Tim Holtz, and a lot of them are like um, airmail and stuff like that. And I never know what to do with them. Like I just feel like sometimes they just don't go with what I use, and that's probably why I haven't used a whole lot of these either. But. I thought, oh, I can use a couple of those kind of things on here, too. That'll give me some use out of those. Because there's loads of them. Like, I've bought his uh, ephemera packs, and it just seems like you get all kinds of those little things and not as many of the other stuff, you know? So, let's see, there's, like, planes and I don't know. I don't even know what that is. I found all kinds of little, little junk. Oh, one of these might be kind of cool. It's always figuring out how to place everything, right? Maybe I come this way more with this. That kind of thing. And then, let's say this side up. Something like that. Might be kind of neat. I wonder if I need a bigger piece of lace or if I need something else. Doily. Back behind. I think I like something like that. Not exactly like that, but we're going to do this kind of thing. And then I just cut a really thin strip off the side of the envelope so that it has a pocket that opens on the side because we'll be sealing um, the envelope so it's not going to... Well, it'll get a piece of paper on there is what I'm trying to say. Save those pieces for something else. And this is tea stained, this doily. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And I'm not going to worry too much about um, putting glue where the open spaces are. Just put a little dots along here, a little, just so it sticks down, but it's going to have stuff over the top of it. And I'll probably use some wet glue to hold down some of that stuff. So it's not going to go a whole lot of anywhere. the edge very well. Okay, that's that. And then I'm going to glue my piece of lace over here. I'm going to take a little bit more right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to see the airplane. You guys are probably screaming at me by now. <laughs> I'm just going to put some glue here. Hopefully you're just crafting and not really paying much attention to what I'm even doing. <laughs> so I'm not driving you too crazy. And I am going to do a little scrunchy scrunchy here and there. Did you get it to work there? What to work? Or did you figure out how you're going to do it? Yeah, I did that. Oh, okay. He's done. Yay. So I might be able to put my digital kit up today. He just does all the hard, or the computer part that I don't know how to do, so I do all the rest. <laughs> He's gotten himself a pretty good summer job out of it, so actually rough this up a little bit too. Oh, 
And if you have one of those tools that does this, I just use my scissors. I tend to only buy the tools that I really feel like I can't, um, you know, do something without. If I can figure out a way to do it myself, then I just do it. Use what you got. Because there's enough junk in this room of mine to choke a horse. So I actually do need to put this five down first. So I can figure out how I want to put the flower. I'm going to try to keep it near-ish the top. And then I am going to put a little bit of regular wet glue on the back of the flower as well because of the lace. And that's just something I like to do. You don't have to do it the way you like to do it. This one's going to come over here a little bit further. little I have had these for years it's just got letters on it I thought it might look cute down here in this corner or maybe even up by her picture this, this is I think from Nick the booksmith but I think that's too big but up here a little bit maybe Got the two letters and the a letter opener, which nobody uses anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think I think something like that would look good. All right, so this one goes down next, and I'm going to use wet glue. And what I said is it has a letter opener, which no one uses anymore. Sorry if I'm I get talking quiet when I get doing this sometimes. Sorry. I put some glue there. Just lifted the whole thing up. To take the lid off. <laughs> Put the lid on so it doesn't drip and then forget to take the lid off. Just go ahead and finish it with the wet glue. Sorry, I got the shaky, shaky hands like usual. See, I get staring at what I'm working on, and I don't watch what I've got going around. <laughs> Not up that high. I'm just trying to think. I think I want it over here like this. Just give it a little bend because it's wanting to curl that way. All right. There's that, and then this will go in here like so, but I'm going to stitch around that first. I'm just trying to decide if I need to stitch anything else. I'm going to go ahead and cover this part. I don't know if we'll get to the journaling tags, but let's get this part done at least. I don't think I want to use the roses. That's pretty. So I'm going to just kind of go in the general area to keep a little bit of the stripes on the edge, but I do want to rip it. So I'm going to use my tear ruler. And let me get this edge off first so that I don't make it too small.
very pretty papers. God, I gotta cut those off. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer, huh? Maybe if I go this way and cut the bottom of these off, because then I'll at least get the pretty part instead of stems. So let me just get this up here. And try not to get it upside down because that would be something I would do. Have done it. You guys have seen it. <laughs> so I just want to keep a little bit of that stripes, you know. See here, it's a little skinny down here. It's not straight at all. Something like that. It'll be fine because we can put other things on there. Alright, so I'm going to ink that. We went today, my kids had their interviews for 4-H. They did really well. There was a really nice lady there that talked to my daughter and told her to contact her because she knows of a, like a contest thing that she can enter to get a scholarship. She writes very well. And uh, so that was really nice of that lady to give her her card and like the idea. And my son did very well. They both got gold stars. <laughs> mm. May be there last year in 4-H. I don't know. It's just getting a little crazy with everything else that they do. Okay, so um, yeah, I need to glue. I'm gonna glue the envelope because I don't want to glue this part right here where the opening is for the envelope, and I want to stay just in these. You know, I don't want to put it all the way to the edge because of the stripes there. I am going to put a bit on this part because that's. That needs to be glued down. And this isn't super important, but I do like to run just a little bead along this top, you know, edge right here. I mean, I highly doubt anything would ever, like, fall through or anything, but... And I don't know that my paper is even going to reach over there. Okay, top, bottom. Where's top? Okay. <laughs> All I need to do is mess that up. Is it going to be too far? I think it'll be right. Just catch it a little bit so it doesn't, um, you know, end up. That'll just help seal that closed there. Put them on upside down. Ay, yay, yay. I even said don't do that, and I did it. Oh. How did I do that? Well, I guess we're going to put another piece over the top of that. I'm sure you guys were watching and screaming at me. I got zoned in on the flowers and thought I had it right side up, and then realized I did not. Alright, so we're going to fix that. And I made a mess. Top it off. All right. Um, let's see. Do I have enough of that piece left? Oh, I do stuff like that. It's so dingy. Well, I can make it a little bigger this time and make it actually fit. <sighs> Maybe this edge first. But if I wasn't dingy, I wouldn't be me, so there you go. It's getting caught on the edge of the paper. Some days it's better off, just don't do it.
the one good thing this year when we go to the fair we don't have to be there for in the heat for hours and hours and hours because my daughter made a quilt this year she usually does clothes that she has to model at their fashion show I mean I'll miss the fashion show don't get me wrong I love seeing her do those things but that heat at that time of the year sitting in a hot blazing hot tent I could live without that part she made a quilt so turned out beautiful <clears throat> and my son does cooking so I don't have to just have to turn this stuff in and pray they get a nice ribbon <laughs> this year I mean we'll have to go for a bit but we won't have to be there for hours and hours in that tent okay let's see if I can get it straight this time I think it was this flower was making me think it was the other way around for whatever stupid reason <clears throat> telling you I think we all do it though I've seen a couple of people have the same dilemma it just happens and you don't thinking but it's really bad when I specifically looked and I still did it all right okay so that is the top this is up and down <laughs> try again so I just wasted a piece of paper beautiful paper I can print it again. That, that used to be really aggravating when I did stuff like that when I was um, making scrapbooks and all I had was, you know, the scrapbook paper that you buy the whole stack of. And yeah, so, I mean, sometimes you'd be lucky and there were two sheets, but a lot of times, you know, you'd be down to your last sheet or whatever. That was when it was bad. So let's see if we can do this straight now. Semi straight, anyway. That edge is out over there, but that's okay. Um, I thought I had my bone folder here. And I hung it off the edge over there at the top. See, I can't ever do it straight. It's making a mess. No, it's not hanging off. It just looks, it's just going over the red and blue stripes. Okay. So let's see. What do I want to put on this part? kind of fun to use some of this, but I don't know if that'll look weird with. I like this daffodil right here. I kind of like using this underneath things. It just kind of looks neat. You just get a hint. It's almost like using a tissue or something like that. She will. I have little spots on them. <laughs> I don't need all of that up there, but I think I'm going to cut the top. I don't want two torn edges. <laughs> It'll look weird. The straight sides. It's sticking. There's an eraser. It's just a little piece of.
little glue goobers on my fingers. That lace keeps getting caught on that edge of that and doesn't want to come up over the edge. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to for sure glue that right there just because I like it. I know it's kind of redundant, but it's a lot bigger than the flowers behind it, so I think it works. But you could use lots of other things, you know. You could use cheesecloth or, um, you know, a different pattern paper or script or music paper. So I kind of like those daffodils. that little spot on her head and that's actually on the picture and it's bugging me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the that's way. That'd be kind of cute. If I used that, cut the bottom off. this I've had for years. I keep trying to use these frame things because I've got millions of them from when I was scrapbooking and they were like in every paper pack and every everything. And some of them are just don't go with anything but uh, if they're kind of a little bit more muted or you know whatever I, I'll try to use them. I feel like I need something other than that lace. Like I just feel like I need some color. So I'm gonna check, see what I've got. Drag over all my crazy bags of junk. This is so pretty, this fabric. I got that from um, Denise, and it's just very pretty. So, let's see. It's very free. <laughs> if, that, if that's a word. Not sure. Let's see if I can even get it to tear. Probably not. It likes to fray, but it doesn't like to tear. I could do it with pinking shears. Yeah, I think I'm going to do pinking shears on this. It's amazing these pinking shears work on anything anymore. I've tortured them endlessly. Like that frayed, super frayed edge there. what other little doodads we have. These would be some of the um, labels that my son and I worked on yesterday. I think these ones are too big. Blue. I also have that thing from Nick, the booksmith, which kind of, it just looks good with this kind of paper for whatever reason. Um, this is cute. Antique. Yeah, I need something like something, something like that. Let's see what we can do here. Sometimes it's fun just to get this junk out and do something with it. 
and it's been floating around for a while. Oops, oops, I almost dropped it. <laughs> I don't know why the number 49, but hey, here's what it is. Ah. Okay, got little fuzzies everywhere from the ink. All right, let's glue her down. Disaster again. Missed the glue on that side. <laughs> Seems to be a deal today. She's so cute. And then I also think I'm still going to use a bit of lace of some kind. I'm not going to put um, wet glue on this, even though it probably be, probably it would be a good idea, because um, I don't want to see it. I don't like that when you can see the wet glue through the fabric. It kind of bugs me. I'm going to end up covering up that daffodil after all that. See that transparency paper now? The fabric too high, but that's okay. I'm gonna do. Where is my. looking for a piece of fabric that I had. This fabric, on the other hand, frays incredibly easy. Or rips. I just want a little something on this side too, is what I'm trying to get at. I would put stuff down and I cover it up, but that's just kind of the way it is. Not that I want that that high. Sorry, I'm driving you guys crazy. It's up here. I'm using lots of glue. <laughs> okay. This 
is all gooped up here. This glob of glue on the back of this. And I am going to use some wet glue to make sure the picture stays down. There is a little bit of texture here with that um, transparency paper, so I am going to try to highlight it a little. Maybe this one wasn't from Nick the Booksmith because it's got some other paper on the back. I don't remember. It was just in my stuff, so sorry about that. Looking at these, see if there's any of these that would be ear meal things. This one's kind of cool, it's got like a like that. Um, I can't remember what they call those. The by wing, or I don't remember what they're called. Comedy act of nothing else. All right, so I'm gonna stick that there. Oops, I'm gonna see the actual airmail. All right, there's that. And then I will hook these together, but I'm going to stitch around the frame first. So I'll be right back. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So I stitched around it and I went all wavy and however. And then I have a journal card that will go inside of here. I may have to cut it down, that's why I didn't uh, decorate it yet because I tend to sew too thick, so yeah. So that's always, sorry, I didn't mean about the cam camera. Always something to think about um, when you're doing a pocket is I wouldn't make the card or the tag or the whatever until you're, you know, you've got it stitched or glued or whatever, because obviously that will make it smaller. And I have lots of times made it all and then was sorry because it didn't fit. So, I'm gonna cut some more. I like it to just slide in and out easily. I would rather have it be a little bit thinner or whatever than not fit at all once it's decorated. Much better. Okay, so I did make it a little bit taller because I was thinking of putting some fabric up there like I kind of been doing so um, that's that and then there is an opening here to put a journaling card so I'm gonna glue this together and then I think we'll stop there for today I don't think you need to watch me do some more journaling cards not that any of this was very new really the only maybe sort of new thing was putting the window in the the card that we're putting on our envelope that's really the only thing that was a little bit different. So, 
just want to line it up here and make sure that it will open and close properly and is lined up with the envelope. And this back part I'm not going to worry about because it would, in my mind, get glued down to a journal. So um, you'd put it like, let me grab a journal. Like on this page, just glue it down and then this would flip open like that. So yeah, that was kind of my plan with that one. <clears throat> so there's that. So I hope you guys liked that, and I hope I gave you maybe a little new information. Not a ton, but you know, it's just fun to play with sometimes. So we will talk later. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.